In this video, you will learn about habitats and adaptation. A large variety of plants and animals are found everywhere on Earth. The surroundings of these living organisms may vary widely from one another. Deserts have a very hot climate during the day, but are cold at night. The ground is covered with sand. There are plants like cacti and animals like camels that can exist in these harsh areas. Living in seas and oceans, fish have to survive in salt water. To survive in different areas, animals and plants must have special characteristics. Let us examine some of these characteristics that enable camels to live in deserts. Camels have very long legs which help them to walk in the sand. They have thick skin to protect them from the heat and they never sweat. Camels also have a hump to store water so they can survive without drinking for many days. They also urinate very little. Now, let us examine some of the features of fish that allow them to survive in aquatic regions. Fish usually have a streamlined shape that helps them to move through water. Their bodies are fully covered with scales. Gas exchange takes place through specialized organs called gills. Tails and fins are present to help fish change directions while swimming. All of these special features are present to allow them to survive in their surroundings. These features are known as adaptations. In human beings, short-term adaptations may occur. For example, people who normally live at sea level will find it difficult to breathe in areas of high elevation due to the lower concentration of oxygen in the air. But within a few weeks, they can adapt by producing more red blood cells in a process known as acclimatization. A place where an organism can obtain food and shelter is known as its habitat. There are two general types of habitats. The two types are terrestrial habitats and aquatic habitats. Terrestrial habitats include mountains, grasslands, forests, deserts, and coastal regions. Aquatic habitats are ponds, lakes, swamps, rivers, and oceans. There are two important factors that contribute to living in a habitat. There are biotic factors and abiotic factors. Biotic factors are all the living things in the area, including the microorganisms, plants, and animals, as well as all of their interactions with one another. Abiotic factors are non-living things like air, water, sunlight, and temperature. Abiotic factors play a vital role in the growth of plants. In this video, you have learned about habitats and adaptation.